We go up the main staircase, decorated with a graphic composition that illustrates the evolution of the universe, and find ourselves under the colossal star dome. The Grand Star Hall of the Moscow Planetarium was built on the basis of the most advanced technologies, and its capacity is 356 seats. The projection screen of the Star Hall is the huge dome that has 25 meters in diameter and the surface of 1,000 square meters. This dome, the biggest in Europe, was made and assembled in such a way that we see it as a seamless screen. In the middle of the Star Hall, there is installed the very state-of-art optical fiber night sky projector, Universarium M9. The miracle of technology weighs nearly a thousand and a half kilos. On its surface there are 32 lenses that project more than 9,000 stars on the dome. In reality, a star-studded sky like this can be seen only in a very fine weather and only very high up in the mountains. But the most important thing is not the quality of the picture, but its content. Universarium M9 allows us to travel not only in space, but in time too. Do you know what was the night sky like on the day you were born? And what it will be in a hundred or a thousand years? Universarium may answer these questions with a picture, and in a couple of minutes too. The range of the dates is impressive, 10,000 years. Besides Universarium, there are several other projection systems in the Grand Star Hall. The full dome, the panoramic and the stereo systems. The combination of the advanced optical fiber and projection equipment makes a powerful, intelligent system. Such equipment configuration as we have in the Grand Star Hall is unparalleled in Russia and puts us in the top five of the full dome systems of the world. It is precisely this part of the modern planetarium equipment that allows us to experience the inimitable effect of penetration into outer space when we make our breathtaking trip across the universe. In order to avoid shades cast by the video projector's rays when the full dome system is functioning, the Universarium is lowered beneath the horizon of the dome. A special elevator is used for the purpose, which can go more than two meters down. For the convenience of the spectators, the Ryan installed special reclining chairs in the Grand Star Hall. The design of those seats allows spectators to watch full down planetarium programs with the maximum comfort. Full down programs of the planetarium consist of two parts. The main part is the Under the Sky of the Planetarium show that introduces viewers to the outer space allows Magic Star Projector Universarium to show its capabilities in full. The sun goes slowly beyond the horizon and night falls. One by one, stars appear in the sky. Out comes our eternal satellite, the Moon, then the planets of the Solar System, then the Milky Way lights up. Familiar shapes of the constellation become clearly visible on the heavenly dome. Fasten your seatbelts, we are space-born. We are approaching the very edge of the universe. And return back to Earth to watch the full sun eclipse of 2116 in Moscow. And now, attention. Only here and now, while admiring the fireworks of the meteor shower, 
we may make our dearest wish. The second part of the Grand Star Hall program offers us one of the educational films that was shot specially for show on the Planetarium Dome. For example, film Two Pieces of Glass, the amazing telescope, will tell us about the history of the telescope. 400 years ago, Galileo Galilei, an Italian, having fixed two pieces of glass inside a tube, which turned it into an eyeglass. One fine January evening of 1610, pointed that tube at Jupiter and became the first man in history to use a telescope for studying celestial bodies. The most prominent discoveries of the past were made with the help of this astronomical instrument. And discoveries are made today too. How many interesting things one may learn just looking through the telescope, the simplest and the most effective scientific tool that threw open the doors to the universe for humanity. One can see not only the details, but the real color of the celestial bodies. One can measure temperature of the stars and learn what chemical elements are present in their topmost layers. In the beginning of the 20th century, astronomer Edwin Hubble, with the help of a telescope, managed to find out that our universe is expanding. It is amazing. Just pointing two pieces of glass at the sky, humanity started on the greatest in its history voyage along the path of exploring and understanding the universe. The film will introduce us to different kinds of modern optical telescopes, both terrestrial and space ones. Join the breathtaking observations made with the help of the world's largest telescopes, and you'll be able to look into the depth of the universe, see its past, understand its present, and unveil the future. Moscow Planetarium's repertoire includes only the very best of the world programs. One, the unbelievable voyage to stars. Let us discover a very new understanding of the space. The other, space collisions, will unveil the mystery of the Moon's origin and tell us about possible collision of our galaxy, the Milky Way, and the nearest to us, Andromeda Galaxy. Film Black Holes, the backside of the universe, will help us make a journey to the center of the Milky Way and unveil all mysteries concerning exploration of the black holes. And the program starts talking about love is in lyrical and even philosophical key. Love and loyalty, low cunning and betrays. It looks like passions are no joking matter both for Earth and in the sky. <laughs> 